Greetings, children. Common sense. What is it? Common sense is this inevitable shared logic that we all have uh, that comes from sharing experience together or sharing doing the same everyday regular kind of thing. And then we have just an unassailable response that can't be different. Oh, that's just, com that's just common sense. Come on! That's just common sense. Amen? Common sense is terribly important. Big banks know that. They come at us with their common sense co-optations and management programs with these actors who are, uh, you know, trying to sell free checking or something. Free checking with just a minimum of something. Or, and they're, uh, you know, they look like, you know, everyday people that have common sense like you do. And they have a kind of common sense acting and they're kind of vaguely sexually available. And free checking, it's great. Yeah, of course, common sense, common sense. Also, when you go downtown to Wall Street and take over a park in the shadow of Goldman Sachs and Citibank and Chase, and you're surrounded by media and cops, and you sit down and you take the place, you really hope that you're appealing to the common sense in the people who are witnessing what you're doing. Of course, I'm referring to what is happening right now. A group of thousands, now hundreds, of people are occupying Wall Street. I've been down there with them. I'm on my way right now. And you look over your shoulder and you're hoping that people who witness you, but you don't know. You look into the eyes of somebody who's new, who's coming through, and is this appealing to... How are the people in Peoria taking this? I think at first, a lot of people just thought it was another protest, another protest. I've got protest fatigue. But then after a while, the insistence on being there, surrounded by 45,000 militarized New York cops, and ordering pizza, and having pizza from around the world, including from Madison, Wisconsin, including from Cairo, ordering pizza and sending it to people, the pizza helped a lot. Something about common sense and pizza, people. And then we started learning the situations of the people. They're in their 20s. A lot of them have $100,000 on the credit card because they've been going to college and now they cannot get a job. It's common sense to empathize there. It's common sense because it's so damn common. That situation is common nonsense. And it unites these people in turn to people in the Playa del Sol and in Tahrir and in Madison. We've all been sold a bill of goods. And we feel like Wall Street has occupied us for decades. The consumerism and the militarism and the taxes we pay every day that seems to go directly to them. And what are they? Are they creating wealth, prosperity, safety? No, no they're not. They're gamblers in suits, and we are paying them for their habit. Isn't that a common sense that we all share? Children, I'm going to read for you now from the Holy Writ. Are you ready? Amen, praise be. Where's my chapter and verse? Here it is. These are the times that try men's souls. The summer soldier and the sunshine patriot will in this crisis shrink from the service of their country. But if we stand up now, we deserve the love and thanks of men and women. Tyranny, like hell, is not easily conquered, children. Yet we have this consolation with us that the harder the conflict, the more glorious the triumph. Amen. Common Sense, written by Thomas Paine in the 1770s. This was read aloud 
to the Continental Army on the instructions of General George Washington. <laughs> we got to steal back some of that revolutionary imagery from the Tea Party. Am I right, children? Am I right? Hallelujah. Let's support the occupiers of Wall Street. They are changing us. It's just common sense.